why Guinness Book of Records? You know, you, 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 I know you are good and then you have your own, you are gallery owner. Why Guinness Book of Records? Why Guinness Book of Records? Yes. Um, this Guinness Book of Records application originated from an interview I attended about two years ago. Okay. At the Three Lemons. Okay. I was interviewed by Franca. Oh, okay. And she got to know that I had done 1,480 paintings mm -hmm. for Rock City Hotel. Oh, wow. So that was when she mentioned that, oh, you should be in the Guinness Book of Records. Okay. So okay. that was when it first sank in. And I said, really? So when I got home, I tried Googling them, yeah. finding out what they do. And I was like, oh, okay, let me apply. Okay. So I applied and told them I had done this number of paintings oh, okay. within this span of time. Then okay. they replied and said, no, you don't apply. When we read their rules, um, they are, we saw that, no, you don't apply on something you've done already. Okay. But you do apply on things. About the evidence all right. is all yeah, recorded for them. All right. So we left it. Okay. Then after a while, my older daughter went on again and tried to apply after a year. Wow. And then she saw that she didn't see anyone had set that record before. Okay. Yes. So it happened that the rules were like, if you haven't set, mm -hmm. if it's not being set, you need to pay All right. a certain amount to set a new record. Before. And I said, oh, just put it somewhere because I'm it not be. interested. Let it be. <laughs> so recently when uh, Efia okay. was doing the Singaton. All right. Then my daughter started going into the Guinness Book again. page okay. again. Then she came across a gentleman who had done a painting marathon in the U.S. Wow. A young Nigerian wow. guy. So she was like, Mommy, someone okay. has set the record. So you so can you break. you can do it. Then I was like, then apply for it. She was like, I'm doing it. I said, do it. Okay. So she applied for me. Wow. How old is she? She's. 18, she turned 18 oh, wow. this month. Amazing. Yes, just last week. Wow. So we left it and we're doing till three weeks after I got an approval. Wow. And wow. I was like, so when I asked around, I found out other people who had done it oh, yeah. were approved after four or five months. Okay. So I was wondering why my approval was came so approved? early. Yeah. I was like, oh, then maybe it's something I really have to yeah. do. Yeah. So... One of my goals of doing this Guinness Book of Records mm -hmm. is one to project Ghana wow. to the world. Great. Once I'm a heritage painter, mm -hmm. I believe and I proposed mm -hmm. my record application with projecting our culture, mm -hmm. our heritage, yeah. our slavery. When I talk about slavery, the past slavery All right. of our forefathers and the present slavery you and I uh, are in. in. Yes. All right. Including the strength and weakness of the African woman. Wow. Yes. That's wonderful. So these are what I want to project for the world to see what Ghana has. Okay. And All right. I am going to speak to the world. Through the canvases, great, and the paints, great, and the brushes, great, 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 great. I am convinced now. Amazing, amazing. Yes. All right, Fariki Arts Gallery. Wow. So tell me, how prepared are you now? How prepared are you on that special day? Ah, uh, when you talk about preparations, am I? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm halfway prepared. I've got my medical team who have started working on me. That's the 37 military hospital. Okay. Um, I've got Ghana Tourism Authority. Wow. wow. Who have come in. I'm still waiting to hear from the, side. the Ministry of Arts and Culture. Okay. 
That's Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture. Okay. I'm waiting to hear from them. All right. But Ghana Tourism Authority has um, come forward. Come They've forward. stepped in okay. to help with right. my venue. Okay. And then building of my cubicle. All right. Which I'll sit in to paint. Um, I've also got Lifestyle TV. Okay. Coming on board as my main media. All right. And UDI. Yeah. Also yeah. coming yeah. in. Yeah, for real. Yes, we are here. Live stream. <laughs> yeah. Um it's the preparation is a bit tough in terms of financing. Because wow. in the beginning I proposed to the record that I wanted to paint at home. Okay. But the response I got was no, it needs to be done in a public place. Okay. So straight away my budget changes. Oh, all right. Because in the public place, I need to a set up. Yeah, a lot. I will need a lot of staff yeah. to keep the place going. Yeah. And I'll need to be feeding that staff, yeah. keeping them on their feet, yeah, get yeah. them somewhere to lay their head, you, 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 you yeah. know. And you. that's a lot. It's so a lot. I'm going around and I'm pleading also with other companies, institutions, okay. individuals who, want, who love art. Yeah and will want to help me project Ghanaian art wow. to the world to come and support us. Wow. Because I don't think it's going to even end with a marathon. It's going to go further. Yeah, to glow. The moment I finish, I'm embarking on a lot of journey. Yeah. Within the country, outside the country, mm -hmm. the villages. Okay. Art should go everywhere. On time. Yes, and I'm looking forward to working with the Ministry of Tourism, okay. Ghana Tourism Authority, mm -hmm. Ministry of Gender and Women, oh. Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. Ministry of Sports. All right. We need we need to come together. Together. You know, together. and produce something. Something. Art is art. Art is life. Yeah, something great. And when you go outside the country. The way art is portrayed, the way art is treasured, why can't we do that here? Yeah, yeah. That is what I want. That's the impact okay. I want to bring into the Ghanaian society. Amazing. And I have worked so hard on this for about two years since I set up the okay. gallery. Okay. And I'm looking forward to use this painting marathon to gain that audience All right. and move on. Great. Yes. Great. Great, thank good. you. Wow, this is loving. Wow. So, how many paintings are you planning to do, and what should people expect from you? How many paintings are you uh, planning when to you do? When you talk about the number of paintings, yeah, on that day, yeah. they don't give specification. All you right. can even work on one huge board for the hours you've proposed. Okay. Yes. Once you are working throughout, mm -hmm. that is the record. Wow. But I'm not that one canvas person. Wow. I'm a very fast painter. Okay. And as I sit here, if I tell you I know the number of canvases I can finish, I don't know. Wow. Because in a day, mm -hmm. at, at least from my capacity mm -hmm. of what I have done before, when I was doing uh, paintings for rock city and okay. other hotels i could complete about between 30 to 50 paintings okay in a day well wow. yes well wow. but i don't know that is in my quiet studio here do you understand yeah i'm getting i don't know you. how uh, with the audience mm -hmm. and the exposure mm -hmm. how my spirit is going to react all right to the painting okay Yes. Okay. So okay. I can't really you tell. can't really tell. It depends. It will depend. On how I feel yeah. at that moment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. What do you hope viewers take away from your paintings on that day? Viewers take away uh, from your paintings. take away so much. Okay. Um, tell us about it. I'm sure every girl child mm -hmm. will be inspired by what wow. I'm doing. Wow. Every girl child who has an art buried in her okay. will come out. Okay. 
because the moment they see what I'm doing, the speed at which I'm doing, the quality of what I'm doing, they will see that art is life. It will take them somewhere. Okay. It's recognized. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, talking about the nation as a whole, mm -hmm. the nation is really going to take something out okay. of my paint at all. Wow. Because wow. the wow. Ghana tourism and the Ghana art and culture okay. is going to be something great. It's going to be uh, the word is not even coming out. <laughs> oh, let it come I'm out. I'm blowing it up. All right. I'm All right. blowing our All right. art. I'm All blowing right. All right. I'm blowing up our culture. And I know this painter tone is going to bring in tourists yeah. from across the world yeah. to Ghana. All right. All right. All because right. they are now going to see that there is art in Ghana. Okay. You know, we have very, very good artists in Ghana. Okay. But it's like, um, the, the, just a few have been able to come into the limelight. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I see this as an opportunity mm -hmm. to portray our art, to portray the kind of artists. I'm not doing this alone. Yes, it's Padiki who applied. Okay. But I'm seeing myself representing and working together with all artists in Ghana. Wow. And wow. projecting our art wow. to the world. Wow. Yes. 